Imagine yourself in a city that can't decide whether it wants to seduce you or suffocate you. So in my book, Casablanca Blues, Blaine is following a treasure trail of clues left by none other than Humphrey Bogart himself. He's looking at you, kid. And one of the clues was left here, Café du Brasil, which in reality is a, an old coffee house, a coffee merchant, where my grandfather used to come like 50 years ago. I've lived in Casablanca for 10 years now, and I've written about living here and what it's like to schlep here with your family, but I've never really got deep into, you know, the fantastic, the fantastical side of Casablanca. And that's what I wanted to achieve you know, with this book, with Casablanca Blues. I wanted to drag the reader down through the dark layers that interwo are interwoven through Casablanca. I wanted to force them with me into, you know, down to the bedrock of the city. I'm sitting in Baba Cool, which is my favorite cafe in the whole of Casablanca. And it's downtown in this incredibly gritty, urban, sprawling mayhem of a, of a district, the old French Quarter. I love this area and this cafe and it was really the inspiration for my new book, Casablanca Blues. You arrive all wide-eyed and believing. Before you know it, you've been sucked in and spat out. This is kind of Art Deco paradise. I came to Casablanca because I have been living, you know, in a tiny apartment in London with Rachna, my wife, and two tiny kids. And I was just bored by the banality of it all. I just thought, this is crap, and I, being in London. And I remember having this sort of eureka moment, and it was, it hit me like a freight train because I suddenly realized, my God, I can't remember anything that's happened in the last three weeks. And I felt ashamed and embarrassed. And then suddenly I had a flashback of being a child and smelling orange blossom in Tangier when I was four years old. And I looked at my little daughter who was two and I said, I owe you something more than, I owe you more than this apartment in London. I owe you orange blossom and I owe you a land of, you know, from the 1001 Nights. And I stood on a chair in this tiny apartment and I punched my arm up in the air and almost hit the ceiling. And I screamed, we're moving, we're moving to Morocco. And that's what we did. So in my novel, Casablanca Blues, Blaine Williams, who's the midlife crisis American protagonist, he was like ditched by his, his conventional life in New York City and but he was obsessed by Casablanca the movie. Arrives here in Casablanca downtown and he's, he's left on that street corner there. And this hotel, Hotel Colbert, was my inspiration for my hotel in the book, which is called Hotel Marrakesh. And really that's where all the murder and mystery and intrigue takes place. And it's really kind of the jumping off point for the descent into the real true grit of Casablanca. Finding love in Casablanca, you must first descend down through the layers of treachery till you reach the bedrock. Casablanca Blues is kind of a midlife crisis love story because it's inspired really by Casablanca the movie, perhaps the greatest cinematic love story of all time. It's about this protagonist, Blaine Williams, who comes to Casablanca because he loves the movie and he meets a nouveau riche girl, a riviste, you know? Yeah, a rich girl. He meets this uptown, uptight girl called Rita. And she is very like this, sneaky. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, he's like this. He's just arrived <laughs> from America. As we go through the twists and turns of the book, they fall in love and it's kind of, but it's kind of a dark love. And at the same time, it's a love story because 
Blaine's love for Casablanca the movie, you know, and that is mirrored and reflected and echoed by his love his, which he, he gains, his love for Casablanca the city, the city that I so adore. And this, this is the real Casablanca, the real thing. This is what Blaine in my book was totally drawn by and obsessed by. This was the grandest, grandest street in the entire French empire, right here, this. Casablanca stays in Casablanca.